Hello everybody, SV Slayer here, and welcome to another FNAF fan game playthrough. I haven't done one of these in a while, so uh, today we're playing Bondi's Barnyard Safety Violation. Uh, now apparently this is, a, this is a FNAF game that takes, the, takes place over the course of a single night. So that's going to be very interesting considering, you know, the normal structure of FNAF games. You know, up until Security Breach. <laughs> so, uh, let's jump the into this and see how... Security oh. Guard is really an arbitrary decision to fulfill a legal requirement. Bondi, Rice, Bondi, they're all equipped with a security system capable of tracking down any intruder. They can even hear a person breathing within a 50 meter radius. What about the cow? Who the cow is differenting that she is designed to care for a child who has lost their parents. Uh, she will keep them close to her until the parents return. Excuse me, but this all seems a bit excessive for children's establishment. Well, even though the animatronic security system is very hands-on, they wouldn't be able to kill an adult. What about a child? Hmm. <laughs> That's disturbing. Why would you design your security system for a children's establishment and not think of the possibility of possibly killing a child? Child missing. A child's gone missing at Bondi's Bondyard on their own birthday. The child's mother f filled, filed a missing persons report to the local authorities. The restaurant claims no wrongdoing but have doubled their safety precautions and has employed a full-time security guard. I see. So they didn't have a proper security guard and child went missing. Also, the design of the animal attraction was very interesting. 1 a.m. Fresh meat. Okay. Bondi's Barnyard Safety Violation Type 1. You are somewhere you're not meant to be. I guess you have to settle for the company of me. If the camera sees freeze off, say she, don't let them put you on your knee. I have to open this to maintain that. Don't left click at all if the camera is on. Okay. Noted. Oh, I can interact with the lights from here? How the hell does that work? I heard something. Okay, so I need to watch that camera. And just, I guess, shut these doors if anyone's down there? Okay. Do I have to worry about the camera yet? It's very interesting. Okay, I'd love the design of this place too. This is a really cool design. Oh. There we go. Okay, so they get they get out of here very quickly. The design of the animatronics also is just very nice. It's very snappy. I love the animation. Okay, so you just watch the camera. Watch for the camera, I should say. And just stay the fuck alive. That's so pretty looking. Oh, look at that god rays that hits the fucking camera. This is well made. This is so cool looking. Uh... Kyo the cow is the only animatronic allowed inside of the ice cream bar. If anything else tries to enter, close the doors. Oh. The cow is the only one allowed inside of the ice cream bar. I see. Mama Ku will protect you. I see. Uh, we put the nice in ice cream. 
Ah. Uh, so this animatronic is just made to like be the animatronic here at the ice cream bar. Am I just dealing with the pig right now? Oh. Not touching anything. Okay, so we do get a bit of a warning for when the camera activates. That's interesting. Okay. This is very cool. I love the design of this. I love the little plushies too. Those are nice. I wonder, I wonder if they sold those. I wonder if they have pl had plans to like make this an actual like fucking series. Because in all honesty, this is different enough from like normal FNAF that they could have actually just made this its own game. Alright, I'm just gonna listen for the pig. This does not need to be a FNAF fan game. This is so cool. I love this. How did they do even half of this? This is made in Click Team Fusion, by the way. So I'm so impressed. Considering Click Team is, you know, notorious for being just completely 2D. But then again, FNAF itself was made in it. So I guess high quality renders will do that. Making some really nice renders must be uh, a lot of work in all honesty. I've been working with uh, learning Blender in order to make some high quality renders for my own attempt at making games. And uh, it it's very interesting to work with all the vertices compared to how... Uh, Blockbench, which is the modeling software I use for my mods, works. But yeah, I'm slowly getting the hang of it. And, uh, game development is coming along nicely. Oh, this looks so good. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be gushing over the graphics of this game. <laughs> It's so good looking. I love it. Hello. You gonna come in? You gonna yeah, you gonna come try and come in, pig? We're already almost done with this hour. Gosh, this is actually really cool. According to my, according to the time of the video, it's been like eight minutes. Okay, so if I hear that tapping sound, that means he's gone. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hour survived. I love that. That that's nice. <laughs> Happy birthday, my child. For your gift, I'll let you go to Mommy's barnyard. Oh. What the fuck is that? A sausage. Oh. I'm building a house. What material should I use for it? Do I have a choice? Oh, I have a choice. Uh, let's have him actually build a brick house. Let's make him the smart one of the three little pigs. Bricks, of course. Thank you. Oh, I wonder if that actually had an effect on anything. <laughs> 2 a.m. Count sheep. New animatronic, I'm guessing? Oh, do I just have to see him? I heard him. Uh, 
Okay, I need to monitor that camera as well. I had to be very... I'm very curious what happens if, I, if the camera sees me, but also I'm not curious at the same time. <laughs> Because I'm imagining uh, it's something very bad. Okay, that's a very fast sheep. Okay, does he make a sound the opposite door instead of the door that he's at? Because I heard the sound over here. If so, that'll be a very clever... Okay, my, I've, I've also noticed that that happiness meter thing goes down the longer that door is closed. It goes down way faster. Don't interact with anything, don't interact with anything. Okay, no one's there. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, so don't interact with anything with the camera. The sheep will appear at one of these doors. So will the pig. The pig appears at this door every time, apparently. Piss off, sheep. I don't know where the pig is. I hear him though. It's also very weird that I'm inside of the animatronic. There we go. I heard him. I hear you though. Come on, sheepy boy. Hi, camera fucker. You're very interesting. That is the security guard being an opponent in a FNAF game. It's a very bold choice. <laughs> Like, the security guard in this one is just straight up a threat. I hear the pig. I don't see the sheep yet. I just need to breathe. Keep myself from panicking, apparently. Because I'm imagining that will just lead to instant death. Hey, sheepy. Okay, pig's not there yet. Pig's making a step. Okay, so the, the sheep comes from the side. Pig comes from the side. That's pretty basic. But that's normal for now. And it's only an hour or two. Hey, Oranky. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, this is so... Oh, I was about to click on the fucking door. You almost got me. You almost got me. Oh, I love this, though. This is a good one. You never know when that fucking camera's gonna activate. We're at 250. 252. Come on. No sheep yet. Also, no pig. I'm gonna forget that camera's fucking there, aren't I? 
It's like right in front of me, but it's just out of the way enough that I'm just gonna forget it's there. And it's gonna be a split second and I'm gonna be fucked. Oh, I was about to die from the asphyxiation because both doors had to be closed at the same time. God, that fucking hell. <laughs> okay, hour hey survived. Would you want to be my little shepherd for to die? Could you count all of these sheep? Uh, how many sheep are there? One. That's right. There's now there's twenty-one. Sheep. Thank you so. Birthday. Oh, is this the story of the kid we are? Because we're clearly a child. We're clearly a child because the cow is protecting us. Meet and greet. 3 a.m. Oh, we have to use a light on someone now. Ooh. Okay, so it's not just the doors anymore. We have to—we actually have to like turn on the light to fend this guy off. Interesting, interesting. I'm very curious as to who the fuck, like what everyone's names are. Oh hi, you must be the one I have to scare off. You're creepy. Okay, new guy's a little melty. Hi. Please go away. Okay, now things are gonna get tricky. Yeah, the sheep sped up. I'm about to remember that fucking camera too. Speak of the devil. That's right. Oh god. I didn't know the pig was there. I didn't know the pig was there. I was more worried about what the fuck I just saw on the screen. This little piggy came inside, shut the door. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, so he survived till 3 a.m. There's still two more hours. Okay, well, uh, I think we're going to end this video here. Um, we've unlocked our select and nothing else. But yeah, um, so damn. Okay, so that's going to be very difficult. I don't know what the hell the little bird was. I'm guessing I have to guess what side it's coming from and then shut that door. But that's so confusing. God, okay, um... Well, I hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you was during the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to hit the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video, live stream, and over to the next. Peace, guys.